This is Gordon. Going to do a little video today on. Gosh, how do I say this? I'm, I, I, this ball hitch. I need a taller one, and I've got one here I can put on there. But my problem is this one is rusted into the receiver, and it won't come out. And the bolts are not in a good way that holds the receiver onto the frame so I really don't want to mess with that because I might open up even a bigger can of worms but I need a taller bumper hitch and what I'm gonna do is since this one is hollow I'm gonna cut this off with a torch right here even with the front of this and then I'm gonna slice the inside inside of the receiver I'm gonna slice this hitch with the torch at a downward angle all the way to the back end on both sides and then I should be able to chisel the top one out right out the back and once that's out then the bottom one will come right out too that's my plan so to get started I found a piece of sheet metal that I have laying up here that's, that's going to guard the sparks the fire coming out of the torch through this hole is going to guard that from hitting the, the gas tank. This is just a cover over the gas tank. This is not the actual gas tank. This is a cover over it. And I really don't like doing it this way. Cause I don't have any reason to believe that there's any gas leaking anywhere. I've never smelled anything. This is my car. This is not the safest thing to do, but I'm going to do it. It's mine. Just an idea basically to show a way to get this thing off of here if yours is rusted in and you can't get it off and you got a torch or have someone around that knows how to use a torch this is what I'm going to do. Let's see how it works out. I'm having trouble getting this off of here. I could have brought a three quarter inch impact out but have to get a bigger air hose to use it and I don't want to drag that out because it's kind of put up where I don't use it very often so I have to double wrench all of this let's see if we can get that got a pipe wrench holding it on I already got it broke loose Well, I give up on trying to get this off because I can keep working at it and get it off, but it's not worth it because uh, I'll never get it back on. So it don't cost that much. I'll replace it.
I think I got it. I know somebody's going to wonder why I don't just heat this whole thing up and beat on it with a hammer because to get it hot enough to do that this plastic bumper is going to get burned big time. This is a lot less heat burning this out of there and I'm hoping we got it. I don't know if I did or not. We'll see. part of my cut in here. Yes, I did. This side here, I missed the tail end of it. I couldn't see in there. And I'm not going to get enough heat in there to do it again unless I burn from out here and, and all the way back again. Well, the sides were still pretty tight. I went on and finished that cut that I missed back here at the end of, of this one here. And I went on and put a couple more slices, one across the middle on the top and one on the bottom. I hope I made it all the way to the end. Let's knock these out of here if I can this time. Looks like it's going to come out. Let me just grab the pliers. Okay, now all I gotta do is clean that hole out and put my new one in there. I'll have to go up and buy another ball. Here's the hole. Nice and clean. Well, except for rust and being old. But as you can see, we did not damage anything else on it. Nice, clean. See if we can zoom in on that. Our holes for the pin are nice and clean. Everything's good. We didn't uh, burn the plastic on the bumper. So, one thing I haven't done yet is slide this new one in. It's got paper on it. I may have to peel that off, but let's see here. Uh, yeah, I may have to do a little bit of cleaning inside the hole. It might still have some rust in there. Looks like there's still a lot of rust inside there. I found another piece of pipe that's the same size as, as this new piece here. Well, it's a thinner piece. But uh, still, I'm, gonna, I'm using it to work my way in a little at a time. I'm tapping it in and then... And I sharpened up a chisel, big long one, just sharpen one side of it, the other side's flat, so that I can scrape. But it is kind of rough in there, that rust all swelled up. That's why I couldn't get the other one out, because the two were, the rust swell, swelled both of them up together. So I'm going to keep working this thing like this for a little while. Got it cleaned out. Put this in there now, nice and easy. Well, there's my new hitch all installed. Thank you for watching.